is sponsored by CBN. Well, welcome to the 700 Club. 40 inches of rain in 72 hours. Epic flooding from Tropical Storm Imelda inundating parts of Houston. Well, some residents are fleeing their neighborhoods in chest-high water, desperate to get to higher ground. Jennifer Wishon brings us the story along with the stunning images. It's being called a thousand year flood, but it's only been two years since the region cleaned up after Hurricane Harvey's historic flooding. Yesterday afternoon, Tina and Robert Horn headed to Walmart for groceries. Nine hours later, they were rescued from their flooded car. I hit that water. <coughs> what was it? How deep? Car's floating. Car was floating. Oh yeah, car floating. How deep? Said, well, it was up here. I'm like, seeing it sideways so the current wouldn't yeah. knock me frontward. Flooding is being blamed for the deaths of two men, including one who drowned, attempting to drive through eight feet of water. We always told folks, turn around, don't drown. In this case, it seems like he didn't heed that warning and continue to drive through it. Remnants of Tropical Storm Imelda dumped more than 40 inches of water on Jefferson County in just 72 hours. And in Harris County, emergency officials making at least 1,700 high water rescues. And everybody was like, get out the car, get out the car. It's about to get higher, higher. You can't do nothing about it. In Beaumont, the Coast Guard plucked victims from water and flew them to safety. It's a devastating blow for families like these, some with as much as five feet of water in their homes, many wading through chest high water to flee their neighborhoods. It's been relentless and we just can't escape. It's like we're on an island here. As waters rose, this herd of cattle joined people in a rush to higher ground. These people have been standing around for hours now and it looks like it's going to be a while longer. In the Houston region, some 5 million residents may not see high waters recede until well into the weekend, the beginning of another long road to recovery. Jennifer Wishon, CBN News. Well, this is an epic storm on top of another epic storm. Just two years ago, Houston was completely flooded uh, by a hurricane, and to see it happening again. Operation Blessing teams were dispatched yesterday. If you want to be a part of the disaster relief, all you have to do is call us, 1-800-700-7000, or you can write to us, CBN Center, Virginia Beach, Virginia, 23463. In other news, in Israel, the opposition Blue and White Party is edged ahead in the nearly final election results. Will they be able to form a new government? Chris Mitchell looks at that question. Israeli President Reuven Rivlin pulled Netanyahu and Gantz together to pose for a handshake photo at a state memorial service for former Prime Minister Shimon Peres. But that's about as far as the unity is going for now. The people chose unity. The people went for Israel to be before everything. And therefore, Blue and White, under my leadership, won the elections. Blue and White is the biggest party. In the final, though not yet official, vote count, Gantz won 33 seats to Netanyahu's 31. Benny, it's on us to form a broad unity government, today. Earlier, Gantz rejected an offer from Netanyahu to join the right-wing bloc of parties in forming a unity government. But in the final tally, analysts point out that the right-wing bloc of voters that would have wanted Netanyahu as prime minister is actually much larger than the left. Ahead of the voting, many felt the elections were really a referendum on Netanyahu. Not his policies, but on him personally. And because of personal rivalries and policy issues, some of those parties will no longer join together in a government, giving Gantz an advantage. However, without the Likud or some of the religious and right-wing parties, Gantz has no chance of forming a government. President Trump is due to roll out his Israeli-Palestinian deal of the century after the elections. But looming threats from Iran and its proxies may take center stage sooner rather than later. That could force Israeli parties to work together in a national unity government, whether they like it or not. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, Jerusalem. 
Well, I have my doubts they'll be able to form a government. Benny Gantz had trouble even looking at Benjamin Netanyahu as they're trying to shake hands with the president of Israel in between them. So uh, as there's been so much bad blood between the two men that they can't come together to form a unity government. Well, if they can't, then we're looking at new elections yet again in Israel. We'll be back with more of the 700 Club right after this. Well, today we're going to show you stories of people that have gone through incredible difficulty, financial difficulty, and how they found a way out. Our first one involves someone who is a single mom, and she went from that to being a successful entrepreneur. Belinda Endu is now living the dream. She built a thriving business from scratch, and then when she married, she taught her husband to do the same. And now she wants to teach that lesson to you. Obi and Belinda Endu have seven beautiful kids. They also run five thriving businesses that brought in over $2 million last year. It's a welcome change from years ago, when Belinda was a single mother, barely making ends meet. All I really saw was poverty. All I saw was the struggle. I didn't want that for myself, and I didn't want that for my future. I wanted a different life. She began reading the Bible for answers. And I realized that the Lord said, if you will, then I will. So if I'm faithful with 10% of whatever you give me, then you will in turn bless me abundantly. Even though she was struggling at the time, Belinda started tithing faithfully every month. And I was so excited to show God that I am going to be faithful. Within a few weeks, Belinda got a job selling legal services. She kept tithing and helping others. I would pay my 10% to God and the Lord would then, you know, always send someone to me that needed help. And I was very faithful with that. And I even began to help ministries and the Lord just continued to increase me. And then I went from getting $1,000 a month to now I'm getting $5,000 a month. Then in 2009, Belinda got the opportunity to start a tax business and things took off from there. And as a result of my faithfulness, the Lord that year blessed me with over six figures. In May of 2012, Belinda married Obi, but he wasn't convinced tithing was a good idea. When tithing situations would come up, there would be this thing inside me like, why do we have to give this money out? Like, we need it. Can we make sure we're okay first? Rather than fight with him, Belinda decided to be patient and pray. The enemy uses force and God gives us the ability to choose. So I wanted my husband to choose it because he saw it and he was convicted. And I knew that God could do that in his time and not mine. And I knew that as a wife and as a woman of God, I could not interfere with that process. Soon, Obi was on board too. What started to happen for me was I wanted inclusion in it. I wanted a part of it. She had this calm, she had this presence, she had this power that I knew that I wanted. He actually got to the point to where he's now coming to me. He's like, okay, babe, you know, we gotta, we gotta return our tithe. It's a financial principle. So once he saw that, he began to really respect it. The Indus expanded their tax business and invested in new ones. As their income steadily increased, so did their giving. He says, I wish above all that you would prosper and be in health. So not just financially is his promise to bless us, but also in our whole being. I see that the Lord has definitely done that with us. Obi and Belinda both say their obedience to faithfully tithe is the reason for their financial stability and wealth today. If you think about it, tithing is the only area that the Lord says, test me. We've made several million dollars. It's been truly a blessing. I, and I know that it's the hands of the Lord. And I know it's because I tested him. God wants you to test them. It's the only time we get to test them is in our tithes and offerings. Here's the promise from Luke chapter six. Give and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over will be poured into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Belinda learned that, then OB learned it from her and then God bless them and bless their marriage. If you follow the same principle, you will get the same result. Well, $3,000, that's all the money Sonia Thompson had after her divorce. She also had no home, no job, and two children to support. 
So how did she learn not only to survive, but to thrive? Well, take a look. <laughs> Sonia Thompson loves getting together with her kids and catching up on their lives. To see how well my children are doing and have done. And I know it's God's faithfulness that's brought us through everything where now I can look back and say, wow, God, look what you have done. Years ago, when Sonia's marriage ended, she moved back home without a job or any other means of support and no idea what the future held. I came with two children, three suitcases, and I had $3,000, and that was it. And I knew from that point that is what I was going to have to start over with. I knew I needed to get a job before money ran out. And I decided I was going to go into fasting and prayer. And I just poured my heart out to the Lord. A couple of weeks later, Sonia was offered a job with a bank. Even though she was part-time, her manager decided to award her full-time benefits. I was able to start working and still be able to be home with my children in the evenings. I just thought, God, you did it again. Sonia started tithing immediately. She excelled at her new position, and as her salary increased, so did her giving. I credit it to God. I'm like, God, you've been so faithful and you're so good. Of course I should tithe from my gross. And that's what I did. And we never were without. We had everything we needed, and God just continued to bless, and He continued to increase my income. But one thing still bothered her. Sonia was concerned about how she would send her kids to college. I knew that I didn't have the resources to pay up front for two children in college at the same time. As they moved into the high school years, that was a point of continual prayer. And the prayer was that, Lord, provide that they can finish college and finish debt free, because I did not want them to start off life in a sinkhole of debt. In spite of her financial concerns, Sonia decided to become a CBN partner. I think that's the best way you can minister to people by not only giving them the gospel, but also meeting the need that they have and showing them the love of God. So just seeing the testimonies of the good things that Operation Blessing was doing, it touched my heart, and I wanted to be a part of that. Soon after, both Sonia's children were awarded full scholarships to the school of their choice. I had both my children in school, their academics fully paid for, and their room and board was paid every time, no loans, and it was just such a blessing, such an answer to prayer. Sonia continued to tithe. Soon, she was able to transfer with her company and purchase a new home. My income tripled during the time that I was working for the bank, and it was just the hand of God blessing the work of my hands. With my company paying for the move, I was able to furnish my new home with new furniture debt-free. Sonia is confident that her obedience to God and giving is the reason for her success today. If you put your faith in God's Word and hold to the promises of God's Word, He will come through without a shadow of a doubt. And my life is living proof of that. Your life can be living proof of it too. All you have to do is follow the same principle. Here it is from Hebrews chapter 11. Without faith, it is impossible to please him, for he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Sonia did that. Here she is in desperate situation. Two kids to support, no home, no job. What do you do? Where do you go? Well, she went to God and she believed in him and said, I trust you, and I'm going to diligently seek you, and you see the result. God wants to honor your faith. You show faith by saying, I want to honor you with my first fruits. I want to honor you with my tithes and offerings. 
when you do that, wonderful things can happen. Now, I've got some great news. A CBM partner from California wants to challenge others to give. And so she will match her giving dollar for dollar, $75,000. And let's pray. Lord, we ask for blessings for the partner who made it possible to issue this challenge. And for those watching, making decisions, bless them, encourage them, be with them. For we ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. amen. 75,000 is the challenge amount. What are we asking you to do? Well, we're asking you to make that challenge and, and to match it. How do you do that? Well, you join the 700 Club. How much is that? Well, it's $20 a month, 65 cents a day. Some of you can join at 700 Club Gold, $40 a month. We have a 1,000 Club. That's $1,000 a year. That breaks out to $84 a month. Then we have 2,500 Club, which is 2,500 a year. Founder, $5,000 a year. Then Chairman Circle, $10,000 a year at whatever level. Call us now because your giving will be automatically matched dollar for dollar, $75,000. Be a part of it. Call us now, 1-800-700-7000. Terry? Well, recently, Pat Robertson recorded The Transforming Word. It features selections from Proverbs that will inspire you and show you the way to a life of wisdom, favor, and anointing. Hello, this is Pat Robertson. The Bible tells us that there's great power in God's Word. Hearing, speaking, and obeying the Word of God will transform your life. That's why I've recorded The Transforming Word, Volume 3, Proverbs, Verses of Wisdom, Favor, and Anointing. The Transforming Word, Volume 3, will deepen your faith and help you discover the promises God has for you. I encourage you to listen to these verses often and say them aloud with me. You will find honor, guidance, favor, and the wonderful abiding presence of our Lord. Let the powerful Word of God transform your heart, mind, and life. Get The Transforming Word, Volume 3, Audio CD, and The Three Blessings DVD. Call now or go to CBN.com. Well, I'm excited to say that this is our gift to you when you call and join the 700 Club today. The Transforming Word from Proverbs is verses of wisdom, favor, and anointing. And it's our way of saying thank you for your generosity, for caring about other people, and for calling right now. Our number is toll free. You know we're in the middle of a challenge. That means when you call, everything you give is matched dollar for dollar. So your giving literally goes twice as far. And you'll be receiving the Transforming Word right away. So call now, 1-800-700. 7,000. Gordon? Barbara Kaisman turned $2 t-shirts into her own fashion line. There's a simple reason for her success, and it wasn't an eye for design. It was a heart to give. Barbara Kaisman always dreamed of having her own clothing line. I put my hand to designing in my 30s, but I could tell it was over my head, and I just could not do it at that age with a two-year-old. She and her husband already ran a photography business together and that had financial challenges of its own. When you're self-employed, you don't know when your next paycheck is coming in. There were times the couple couldn't even pay the rent on their Chicago loft apartment. Then the two became Christians and learned the importance of giving 10% to God. My first thoughts about tithing was, I don't think I can afford it. They decided to give at church anyway. It's because we did need help. We needed supernatural help as soon as we start giving, the Lord blessed. Their business immediately increased, and so did their giving. When they needed more money, they even gave in advance. I said, God, I only have 1200 in my account. I need 1500 Here's $150, because I just know you're going to bring it in. And he would. The Holy Spirit says, Barb, I want you to go get your tax returns out for the last five years. I want to show you what I've done. He had doubled my income every year for five years. I did what he told me to do. And when I realized that I could now give God, it released me to give as much as I wanted to give and sometimes as much as I could give. Meanwhile, Barbara's husband started some other business ventures. The marriage ultimately fell apart and the couple divorced. Overnight, it was an empty nester, empty house. I had all the bills to pay with one income. Then God says, remember that dream you had about being a designer? The time is right. And I thought, God, do you know how expensive this is? Barbara began refashioning $2 t-shirts 
and soon her clothing line, Feel Good Fashions, was born. She did well, until her appendix burst and she got pneumonia. Without health insurance, she racked up close to $100,000 in debt. But all the while, she kept giving. Tithing is my lifeline. I don't dare cut it off. And you know what happened? God didn't fail me. The hospital wrote off most of Barbara's medical bills, and her sales picked up. What I sold, I paid off two years of credit card, and I was able to buy some furniture. Today, her business is doing better than ever. Every year it's increased, 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 and it's like mind-boggling. I do the one-of-a-kind show, and in four days, it's like $32,000 I sell clothes. Now, Barbara donates a portion of her sales. One place she supports is CBN. I love their water program, and then I love their disaster relief programs because I think, what happens if a tornado or something like that wiped me out? I would want somebody to be there. Recently, Barbara was selected to be a part of the Fashion Incubator Mentorship at Macy's in downtown Chicago. She encourages others who need God's help to trust Him and give. You can have marriages failing you. You could have your health fail you. You could lose your job. And if your source isn't the Lord, you're in trouble. Do you believe God's Word enough to try it? It only takes a little bit of faith, but you got to try it and then give Him something to, to prove. Test Him in this so He can show you what He can do. It's the only time we get to test God is with our tithes and offerings. And when you, when you show that to Him, when you show that you want to live life His way, here's a wonderful promise for you. It's in Psalm 91. He will call on me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. For Barbara, she said, yes, I'm going to do this. I'm in trouble. She was in financial trouble. She lost her marriage. But in all of that, she didn't lose God. And she says, I'm putting my trust in him. I'm going to live life his way. I'm going to call on him and he will answer me and he will deliver me. He will do the same for you if you just live in accordance with his principles. And when you do that, wonderful things can happen. If you'd like to start a life of giving, give us a call, 1-800-700-7000. Say, yes, I want to be a part of the 700 Club. When you call, make sure you ask for Pledge Express. That's electronic monthly uh, giving. The bank does all the work, and it's all automated. Uh, and we can send as our gift to you Power for Life monthly teaching CDs or digital downloads, your choice. You can get it by calling us and asking for it, 1-800-700-7000. You can also go to cbn.com slash give or text CBN to 71777. Either way, do it right now. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? Thanks, Gordon. Well, when you give to CBN, we want to give something back to you. It's Pat Robertson's latest CD, The Transforming Word, Part 3, and it's filled with encouraging promises from the Bible that'll change your life. Get The Transforming Word, Volume 3. Pat Robertson records powerful selections from the Book of Proverbs. The Lord gives wisdom. From His mouth comes knowledge and understanding. He holds success in store for the upright. As you listen to The Transforming Word, Volume 3, you'll be rejuvenated by the anointed Word of God, be inspired by the calming presence of the Lord, and you'll discover God's favor in your everyday life. Whoever gives heed to instruction prospers, and blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord. Partner with CBN to get your copy of Pat's new audio CD, The Transforming Word, Volume 3. Plus, as a special bonus, you'll receive a DVD of Pat's teaching, The Three Blessings, Immerse your mind in the Transforming Word, Volume 3, plus Pat's teaching, The Three Blessings. Call now or go to CBN.com. The Word of God, it's really the Word of life. It's everything we need as believers to live a victorious life. And, you know, but sometimes it can be hard to find five minutes to pray, let alone get your Bible out and read it. Well, we want to make that easy for you to get filled with the Word of God every single day with this. Pat's new teaching called The Transforming Word. You can deepen your faith as you listen to God's promises. This is our gift to you when you call right now and just say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. How much is it? Glad you asked. Just 65 cents a day. No, 
I'm not kidding, 65 cents a day, $20 a month. That is all it takes to become a CBM partner and to help so many hurting people all over the world and right here at home. If you're already doing that, we just want to say thank you. You are making a big difference. But I'd like to challenge you. A lot of us can do more and we want to do more. So, hey, let's go to your phones right now and just take it up. Let's go up to our gold level, $40 a month. When you do that, we're going to bless you back with three CDs, one for you and two to give away. If you can go higher, take it on up to Thousand Club, $84 a month or higher will get you five of this. Pat's new teaching, The Transforming Word. We want you to have it. Go to your phones right now. Terry. Well, one year after a Cat 5 hurricane flooded their home, Micah and Courtney still can't live in it. Even worse, insurance won't pay another cent. This hardworking military family didn't know where they were going to get the money to rebuild until they got a hand up from helping the home front. Special Ops medic Micah has seen his share of combat on the battlefield in Afghanistan. His wife, Courtney, is extremely proud of her husband's decorated military career. It definitely takes a special person to be willing to go, you know, knowing I might not come home. Yeah, I'm definitely very proud of what he did. In October 2018, the family faced a war zone at their own home when Category 5 Hurricane Michael pummeled Panama City, Florida. Floodwaters rose to the ceiling of their house, destroying everything except the home's framework. You think it's going to be a couple months and they'll um, get you back in your house, but, you know, as you can see, down to the studs, so did not expect this. In fact, it's been nearly a year since the family of five evacuated. They've been living in this 30-foot camper ever since. There's been some real trying times where God has really had to work on us and teach us some hard life lessons and uh, teach us to lean on Him when we're pretty much out of strength. Then another blow to an already difficult situation. Their insurance company told them their policy had reached its limit and the family would be responsible for the remaining repairs that would cost thousands of dollars, money they didn't have. Hey, good their pastor, Andy Lambert, asked them over to get an update on the situation. Insurance company is now looking at our claim saying, you guys are completely maxed out. You know, there is no more money to give you guys to replace that brick. There is no more money to give you guys to replace the electrical. I have no idea where it's coming from. I do know that we serve a big God and a good God, and I know, you know, I know that He will, he'll, He will supply it. You know, He will. The couple didn't know that Pastor Andy with First Baptist Church Panama City had already contacted CBN's Helping the Home Front. This organization, Helping the Home Front, is going to step in and they're going to pay for the electrical work that you haven't been able to do. Awesome. Wow, thank you. thank you. They're going to take it one step further and they're going to take care of that brickwork so it can be done right. I mean, you brought up a pretty big number. Thank you. <laughs> Very grateful. Um, we had no idea where it was going to come from, but... Very thankful. Yeah, Helping the Home Front has been just an organization that really it does represent uh, the body of Christ caring for military and veterans who, who are in dire circumstances. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. A few weeks later, contractors started on the work the couple initially couldn't afford. CBM providing this is definitely something I did not expect at all. So I'm very thankful that there are people who are willing to come alongside CBN and be partners with them to give other military members and veterans gifts like this. This is such a great, um, such a great gift. Stepping in when all hope is gone, whether it's because of a natural disaster or just life happening, that's what you do, 700 Club members, and we are so grateful to you. There's so much more work to be done. There are still lots of people needing help, both here at home and around the world. So to those of you who haven't yet joined, it's Friday. We're in the middle of a challenge. Our number's toll-free. It's a great time to join the 700 Club. Let me show you your options. A general membership is 65 cents a day, $20 a month. Some of you 
are already 700 Club general members, why don't you go up to the 700 Club gold level at $40 a month or consider the 1,000 Club at $84 a month. Lots of people have been calling in at the 2,500 Club level. That's $209 a month. And then our founders join us at $417 a month. We even have a group we call the Chairman's Circle. These are friends who are able to give $10,000 or more a year. Ask God what he'd have you to do and then call. Our number's toll-free, 1-800-700-7000. Just say, I want to join the 700 Club. And we welcome you to the outreach from CBN that touches the world. Gordon? When Mrs. Dow's son got sick, she felt death closing in on him like a black hole. Her daughter became sick as well. The entire family was in danger because they had no clean drinking water. Xiao Yan always looked forward to the rain. It made me happy. Usually during the dry season, I had to wait at least two months to take a shower. My skin got itchy, I smelled bad, and I felt dirty. That's because the only water Xiao Yan and her family had to bathe with or drink came from a pond that was hours away. There were worms and leaves in it, and it made all of us sick. My daughter got so bad that she couldn't sleep. I remember one time she was rolling around in her bed, sweating. She said, Mom, I have a worm in my stomach. The bacteria in the water was even more of a problem for Xiao Yan's little brother. My son was severely malnourished, and I was afraid if my boy kept drinking that water, he would die. So the Tao spent all they had to buy fresh water for their children. I couldn't resist taking a sip, but I know my brother needed it a lot more than I did. I hoped it would make him better. But after three months, the fresh water ran out, and the Tao's son ended up in the hospital with severely inflamed intestines. I thought about the bills, about the dirty water, and about my sick son. I felt cornered. I felt death closing in on my son, like a black hole ahead. Mr. Tao contacted his village chief, who put him in touch with CBN. We quickly paid for the boy's medical care. We also made sure that there'd be no more close calls. So we built the Tao's a cistern and gave them a water filter. You have rescued my children from disease. My son is healthy. He can drink clean water, and I don't have to worry about his intestines getting infected anymore. Now, we don't have to worry about being dirty and sick. No more showers in the cold rain. I love this water. I learned it was God who helped us through CBN. He gave us hope and new life through you. That happened through you. If you're a member of the 700 Club, that wonderful blessing came because you cared enough to give. If you're not a member of the 700 Club, join with us. Join in everything we're doing around the world. Call us, 1-800-700-7000 and say, yes, I want to join. Now, when you call, make sure you ask for Pledge Express. That's electronic monthly giving. The bank is doing all the work and we can send as our gift to you. Power for Life, monthly teaching CDs or digital downloads, your choice. All you have to do is ask for Pledge Express when you call or you can give at cbn.com slash give. And on the donation page, there's a place where you can give monthly or you can text us CBN to 7177. We've got 35,000 left on a $75,000 challenge and we're taking the red number down. Here from Perryville, Maryland, 2,500 club members saying you can count on me, $3,800. Yes, that takes us down to 31,000 with 24 minutes left to go. Call us right now, 1-800-700-7000. Let's go over to Wendy. Thanks, Gordon. Well, people are already talking about Pat Robertson's latest CD, The Transforming Word. They're calling it inspirational. And best of all, they're saying it's encouraging them all day long. The Transforming Word 3 was very inspirational. Hearing Pat's introduction to the reading of the Proverbs made me want to hear it more. Proverbs is always important, the wisdom of Solomon. It was just fresh reminders of guidelines that God wants me to live by. Everyone should listen to the CD. It can give you encouragement anytime in your life. 
Call now to get The Transforming Word, Volume 3. Plus, receive Pat's signature teaching, The Three Blessings. Now, what would you do if you knew you had God? You, you knew you had God's anointing. You knew you had God's favor and God's wisdom. A lot of times, we don't step out because we really just don't have the faith. Well, how do you get faith? You get it by hearing and listening to the Word of God. That's why we want you to have this past new teaching called the Transforming Word. You can fill your life with God's wisdom, favor, and anointing, and increase your faith nothing will be impossible to you. This is our gift to you when you call right now and say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. 1-800-700-7000 is the number to call, or you can log on to CBN.com. We're asking you to give 65 cents a day. That's right, 65 cents a day, $20 a month. That's all it takes to become a CBN partner. If you're already doing that, thank you. You are making a big difference all over the world and here at home and helping spread the gospel to people who've never heard. If that sounds like something you want to do, please don't delay. This is Friday, the last day of our September telethon, and we really need your help. Please go to your phones. If you're already a $20 a month giver, thank you. But I'd like to challenge you to do more. Go up to our gold level, $40 a month. When you do that, we're going to bless you back with three CDs, one for you and two to give away. If you can go higher, we have many levels here at CBN. Take it up to our 1,000 Club, $84 a month or higher. We're going to bless you with five CDs. We're in the middle of a challenge right now. That means every dollar that you pledge will be matched dollar for dollar against the $75,000 challenge. 22 minutes left on the clock. This is a great time to go to your phones. Gordon? Well, Steve and Lucy Newton lost their biggest client, and their finances took a major hit. While money was tight, the Newtons thought giving was their only way forward. And within two weeks, their decision paid off. Steve and Lucy Newton enjoy being able to spend time with their grandchildren. They've been married for over 40 years. And from the early days of their marriage, they learned about the importance of giving. What we learned was out of Malachi, that um, bring your tithe to the storehouse to make sure that there would be provision there. But that wasn't the, the reason we gave. We gave out of an obedience in our heart because, because of our love for God. Initially, your thought process is this is crazy. You know, what are we doing here, giving money away? And then you go to the Word and you say that shows you specifically, this is a tenth of what you're to give. This is God's. Lucy was a hairdresser and Steve worked in sales. Though they were paid on commission, they never wavered in their tithe. I tithed on the commission, and I also tithed on my gratuities. Everything was income, so I tithed on everything that I got. God showed His faithfulness in providing the clients. They came, and it grew. Every month, I was at the very top of the sales list, like month after month after month after month. In 1981, the Newtons became CBN partners. We saw CBN particularly uh, as a significant ministry and a place where we could put our resources and felt very good about it. I know that nothing's being wasted here. I knew that the resources that we put into CBN was good ground. And we saw the increase, we saw the growth, uh, we saw that they were reaching millions and millions of people for Christ. In 1995, Steve left his sales job and started a media production company. For a while, business was running smoothly until his biggest client canceled all of their contracts. And within a very short period of time, I was just left with, you know, hanging out there and, uh, you know, concerned, severely concerned about our revenue share. Their finances were tight, but the Newtons only saw one way out, continue to trust God and remain faithful in their giving. It's like, uh, if God was good to me back here when things were going well, and God will still be good to you here in this situation in the valley, then why stop? And so we never did. The Newtons paid their tithe. Two weeks later, Steve got a call. The phone call says, would you be interested in brokering some time on a station, a big station in New York City. The station was, it was an hour a day, Monday through Friday, and it was $10,000 per half hour. When he asked me that question, I said, would I? I'd <laughs> be, absolutely. And God, you know, it was amazing. Steve and Lucy's business continued to grow and prosper. They know it's because of their faithfulness in giving. And today they continue to tithe faithfully to their church as well as partner with CBN. When you give, you see that God blesses 
that gift. And then in return, He's blessing us. We all have this heart for caring for people and caring for what God wants to do and bringing His kingdom into reality here and into the lives of people. Well, this is how we can do it, by making it possible for a ministry such as CBN to work it, to do it, to present it to so many, not just locally, but around the world. And the best part, you can be a part of preaching the gospel around the world, and you can do it from right where you are. If you want to start, uh, join, start giving, start a life of giving to say, I want to honor God, I want to honor Him with my first fruits. If you want to see God's message go around the world, join the 700 Club, be a part of it. Call us, 1-800-700-7000, and just say, yes, I want to join. Now, I've got some great news. Some partners of CBM want to add to this challenge. They want to take it up to $125,000. So let's pray. Lord, we ask for a blessing over this. We ask for the blessing for all the partners, that you would be with them, that your peace would be over them, their households. We ask for a blessing for them personally. We also ask for a blessing for their children and their children's children. Lord, you bless through the generations. And so we receive that from you right now. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. 125,000 is the challenge. 17 minutes is on the clock. Get the red number up. We've got 57,000 to go. So call us right now, 1-800-700-7000. Terry? Nicole Ellis had never seen anything like what she saw after a tornado ripped through her neighborhood. Trees were down, power lines had snapped, but Nicole didn't just see devastation. She also saw a loving team from Operation Blessing ready and able to clean up. <laughs> Nicole Ellis is a single mom who shares a special bond with her daughter, Shiloh. She's the best friend I've ever had. It's like watching myself grow up. Nicole and Shiloh live just outside Dayton, Ohio. They've seen many storms, but one night as Nicole tucked her daughter into bed, something felt different. I heard the hail hitting the window. Right when I went to look, I heard a, just a crack. And the power went out. I told her it's time to get in the basement and we all ran straight down to the basement. And then it hit. Moments later, one of the many tornadoes that broke out around Dayton tore through Nicole's neighborhood. You could hear the transformers popping. It almost sounded like gunshot, just pop, 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 pop. It was really scary. It's kind of like a movie. It's, ooh, it's a lot to take in. But you really didn't know how bad it was until we walked outside after it was over. Destruction was everywhere. Nicole tries to stay strong for her daughter, but it isn't easy. Yesterday, I was having a meltdown. I was talking to her about it. I was trying to explain it, and then she said, but no, no matter what, every day, you have me and I love you to the moon and back. I was so proud of her. The love Nicole and her daughter share will get them through this, but they still had a yard filled with downed trees. I've never in my 45 years been through anything like this. That's when volunteers from Operation Blessing showed up in their neighborhood. They're just here to help, and it's been an absolute blessing. I'm so thankful for you guys. You guys are picking up trees. You're picking up all the debris, and I'm so happy. It made me tingle inside because you're just a group of people here to help, and I've just felt nothing but joy all day. I thank everybody who has ever donated to Operation Blessing. Anything that you can do makes the biggest impact in so many people's lives. It's ginormous, and I'm so thankful. Tornadoes, hurricanes, now flooding. There is so much need, and this is primarily right here at home. We have an opportunity, friends, to reach out and to touch the people who live right around us and to touch the world at the same time. Because when we unite together, we are powerful in our ability to make a difference. God calls us to do this, to be Jesus with skin on to people in need. Won't you join us in that? Our number's toll free. It's 1-800-700-7000. 65 cents a day, $20 a month makes you a 
700 Club member. And listen, here's a way to make your gift go even further, in addition to the fact that we're we're in a challenge right now, so that means your gift is doubled. But also, you can use Pledge Express. It's electronic monthly giving. It saves us some administrative costs, so we can put even more of your gift into the lives of people like Nicole and her daughter. And our way of saying thank you for using Pledge Express is to send you Power for Life teachings. You're going to get one of these every month. So call now, 1-800-700-7000. Just say, I want to join the 700 Club. Tell us what club level and say, I'd like to do it using Pledge Express. Gordon? All right, I've got some great news from Mount Juliet, Tennessee. Founder, Thousand Club member yeah. going to Founder, $5,000. That takes us down to 35000 with 13 minutes on the clock. Call us right now, 1-800-700-7000. Well, when a young girl from Indonesia watched CBN Superbook, she gave her life to Jesus. Then she told her father, and suddenly a strange dream he had a few weeks earlier started to make sense. The first Superbook episode that seven-year-old Putri ever watched was the story of Adam and Eve. Eve was looking at the fruit. She was deceived by the snake. They both sinned because they ate the fruit. But Putri didn't understand what that meant until she watched another episode called He is Risen. Putri and her mom had invited neighbors and friends to their home in Indonesia for a Superbook Easter outreach. It was hard to see Jesus being crucified. They nailed his hands and feet and also put a thorny crown on his head. He received that because of our sins. That day, Putri prayed along with the host on the CBN Easter special to become a Christian. I said, Lord Jesus, please forgive me I have sinned against you. Thank you for coming into my heart. Later that day, Putri was excited to tell her dad about Superbook and her prayer to receive Jesus. I told my dad that I learned that Jesus was crucified for us. I love my daddy and I wanted him to believe in Jesus too. At that moment, Putri's dad, who was a Muslim, remembered something that happened three weeks earlier. While resting in his living room, he said he had a vision. I closed my eyes for a moment and I saw a bright light. It was almost too bright to look at. Then I heard a voice whisper, it's time to choose. When Yudi opened his eyes, he said the first thing he saw was a cross his wife had hung on the wall. He knew what he had to do. I thought, this is the day when I will choose to follow Jesus. I was excited to go to church the next day with my wife and daughter. The pastor then helped Yudi to pray to become a Christian. Now they all attend church together every week. My daughter has changed from watching Superbook, and now she tells me about every episode she watches that helps me to grow closer to God too. I want to say thank you to the people who support Superbook. Because of you, my dad and I came to know Jesus. And that thank you goes to you. If you're a member of the 700 Club, thank you. Because of you, that little girl got to know Jesus. If you want to be a part of it, call us right now, 1-800-700-7000. Say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. You can also go to cbn.com slash give, or you can text to us, CBN to 71777. Uh, we have a lot of different club levels for you. You can join at 700 Club, $20 a month, 700 Club Gold, $40 a month. 1,000 Club is $1,000 a year. That's $84 a month. We have 2,500 Club, 2,500 a year. Founder, $5,000 a year. And then Chairman Circle, 10000 or more a year. At whatever level, call us right now, 1-800-700-7000. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? Thanks, Gordon. Well, if you think you're too busy to stop and read the Bible, think again. Pat Robertson recorded a dynamic selection from Proverbs that you can listen to anywhere. It's all right here on the new CD, The Transforming Word. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. 
then you will win favor and a good name in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Pat Robertson records this dynamic audio CD, The Transforming Word, Volume 3. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. One of my favorite verses from Proverbs, and there's so many on here, the transforming word. This is our gift to you, the promises of God at work in your life. And this is our gift when you call right now and say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. 1-800-700-7000 is the number to call, or you can log on to CBN.com and, and just say, I want to give. I want to be a part of everything God is doing all over the world and here at home, plus spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. There's so many things that we're doing, water wells, feeding the hungry, healing the sick. It's countless what you can be a part of when you join. And remember, you can never outgive God. When you bless others, he's gonna bless you back. So don't delay, this is the last day of our September telethon. We need you to go to your phones and be a part of what God is doing. Uh, again, I might not have mentioned this, but it's only 65 cents a day. Yeah, I'm not kidding, 65 cents a day. $20 a month is all it takes to become a CVM partner and to help so many hurting people all over the world. If you're already doing that, and I know so many of you are, we just wanna say thank you. Thank you, thank you. You are making a big difference all over the world. But if you'd like to do more, hey, a lot of us can. Take it up to our gold level, $40 a month. When you do that, we're going to bless you back with three CDs, one for you and two to give away. If you can go higher, take it on up to our 1,000 Club, $84 a month or higher. We're going to bless you with five CDs. We're in the middle of a $125,000 challenge right now. Seven minutes left on the clock. Every dollar that you pledge right now will be matched dollar for dollar. It'll be like giving twice as much to the Lord. And remember, you can't can't outgive God. Terry, over to you. Well, O is a single mother who can't sleep at night. She worries about how she'll ever pay back all the money she owes. She is the sole provider for her young son and her mother, and the only work she can find is part-time. O is a single mom raising her young son alone. Her husband abandoned them before Tao was born. Tao means everything to me. When life is difficult, he inspires me to press on. O works part-time at a restaurant to buy food for her son and elderly mother. She's had to borrow for other things, like clothes and school fees. I get stressed, and I worry about how I will pay the money that I owe. I can't seem to find a way out. My daughter could not sleep at night. I wanted to help, but did not know how. Then Grandma Na suffered an aneurysm and was hospitalized for two months. O oh, borrowed more money to pay the medical bills. When I saw her hospital bills, I was shocked. I owed so much money, more than $2,000. I did everything I could to keep my mom alive. I saw my mom cry. I felt so sad for her. Then a neighbor told O about CBN's Orphan's Promise. We poured a concrete floor and installed other items needed to start a small restaurant at her house. O's income has doubled, and she has paid off her mom's medical bills. My life was like a tree that was near death. Then Orphan's Promise came and gave us new life through my new business. Meanwhile, Grandma Na is back on her feet and helping O prepare food for the restaurant. Now, I see my mom and my son smiling every day. You helped our family and brought a bright light into our lives. Thank you. You didn't just provide for them, you brought dignity to their lives. And that's something that's going to go on with that business that they've started. So we say thank you. Listen, we need to hear from you right now. We're coming up on the end of the hour. This is the Friday of our September telethon. And when you call right now, you'll be helping us to reach even more people around the world because your gift is going to be doubled. And here's another way you can do it in a way that matters. When you call, say you want to join the 700 Club and that you'd like to do it using Pledge Express. That means your bank does all the 
work. It's electronic monthly giving. You can stop it whenever you want, but it saves us more money so that we can put even more of your gift right into the lives of people like O and her little family. Our way of saying thank you is to send you Power for Life teachings. You're going to get one of these every month, and we think you'll love them. It'll also remind you of the good that you're doing. So call now. Say, I want to join the 700 Club, and I'd like to use Pledge Express. Gordon? Okay, we're hearing from West Monroe, Louisiana. A thousand club members saying I'm going to 2500 yes. club plus awesome. $3,600. And here from New Braunfels, Texas, founder saying I want to give more, $8,400. Yes. We're going over the top on this challenge, and you've got three minutes and 39 seconds left. Call us right now, 1-800-700-7000. Well, when a mother in Cambodia first saw her baby boy, she thought she had done something wrong. That's because her son was born with a cleft lip, and she believed it was all her fault. Parni's mother, Tuj, began to blame herself when she saw her baby for the first time. I felt ashamed. I didn't know what was wrong with me. I thought it's because I didn't burn incense to my ancestors or because I didn't do good deeds. When Tuj brought her baby home, her older son, Farnid, was scared by his brother's appearance. I never saw anything like it before. It took me a week before I was able to touch him. Neighbors in the village only made matters worse. They believed the baby was cursed and stopped buying groceries at Tuj's shop. One day, a pastor told the family about an Operation Blessing program that provides free surgery for kids with cleft palates. We arranged for them to travel to the city where a surgeon repaired Parneet's cleft lip. After the operation, my son looked better and he could eat cereal and did not choke like before. He gained weight and is so handsome. Meanwhile, the neighbors have returned to the shop and no longer believe baby Parneet is cursed. When my brother came home, he looked so good. I am so happy. Thank you to everyone who helped my son with the operation. Thank you. And thank you for providing that operation. If you're a member of the 700 Club, you're part of it. If you're not a member, join with us, 1-800-700-7000. Uh, and if you are a member, consider increasing. Consider going to 700 Club Gold or 1000 Club. Either way, do it now, 1-800-700-7000. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? All right, well, the book of Proverbs contains insight from the wisest man who ever lived, and you'll be able to experience it in a whole new way thanks to CBN's latest audio CD, The Transforming Word. Discover unfailing wisdom. Find guidance to an anointed path and receive the blessings of God. CBN presents The Transforming Word, Volume 3. Proverbs, verses of wisdom, favor, and anointing. Whoever pursues righteousness and love finds life, prosperity, and honor. Pat Robertson records this dynamic audio CD to guide and strengthen you. I walk in the way of righteousness, bestowing a rich inheritance on those who love me. Plus, as a special bonus, you'll receive a DVD of Pat's teaching, The Three Blessings. I'm going to talk about three blessings, and they can last you throughout your life. Immerse your mind in the Transforming Word, Volume 3, plus Pat's teaching, The Three Blessings. Call 1-800-700-7000 or go to CBN.com. All right, it's just pouring in here from Melbourne, Florida, 3,400 from West Lafayette, uh, Indiana, $3,000 from Richfield, Pennsylvania, $2,500, Nashville, Tennessee, another $2,500, and then here we are, Siloam Springs, Arkansas, $7,000. God is wonderful, isn't he? It's a $125,000 challenge, and against that, you gave $175,000. Here's a word from Jeremiah. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. God bless you. We'll see you next week.